Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So earlier in this week, I was uh, kind of theorying out and explaining my Lightning Strike Inquisitor, um, and I was kind of thinking that it could potentially be a better alternative uh, than going like Ranger or Duelist with Champion with Fortify. And I actually really like this character, and it is by far my favorite variant of Lightning Strike. I will state that it's a bit awkward uh, to try to <clears throat> kind of play around it because it does require uh, certain uniques. Not really, sort of, um, but I'm going to explain it briefly and then I'm going to go run a map for you guys and then I'm going to explain it much more in depth. If you have any questions about the character, I'd urge for you to check out the theory crafted idea behind it. Now this is also done without getting my next ascendancy points. Um, Instruments of Virtue would be basically 14% increased attack speed and 40% attack damage if you cast a spell recently. Casting a spell <clears throat> would work for Vol Haste and for Ancestral Protector, uh, which you only drop Ancestral Protector for like things that don't die, so your attack damage comes in exactly when you need it. Now, this is attack damage, not melee, so it does work for Lightning Strike. And Augury of Pen uh, Penitence is a very good skill as well. Please explain to me how to pronounce this as well in the comments, because it makes monsters deal less elemental damage to you and take increased elemental damage, which is a multiplier. In the patch, this goes from 5 to, I think, 8% and 10 to 16%. And Instruments of Virtue goes from 10% increased attack speed to 20 and 48% increased attack damage to 50, as well as the other values getting buffed as well. Now, in the patch, we could also pick up 2 and 2, so that's pretty fucking significant. Um, anyway, uh, my life pool is 5.1k at level 85, so it's a bit low, however, we do have life to grab here, we've got ranger life to grab here, we have optional life right here by thick skin, we have life to grab by duelist, um, our jewels are 7% life here, a 7% life jewel should be here as well, um, and this is one extra node being spent because I need the resistance currently. My gear, uh, just type exclamation mark profile in my Twitch chat and you can see the character Pox Inquisitor. You can see everything located right there. <clears throat> I'll provide some links in the comments below in the description. We're using a Hegemonies Era. This is going to be one of the, not necessarily required weapons, but it's a very, very simple weapon to get your character going. Uh, it has really good physical damage and uh, that's really it. Physical damage, crit and attack speed. It's a good physical damage weapon. Um, the power charge on, on knockback does not work for lightning strike because you're using the backside of lightning strike or the actual projectile. Excuse me. Uh, another piece of gear that I would say is not necessarily required, but I'm going to say it's required from my opinion, is a Sybil's Lament. Sybil's Lament basically means left ring slot, 30% reduced reflected elemental damage taken. This is a better version of Fortify for reflect. Not actually like Fortify, but for reflect damage taken. 30% reduced, that's pretty nuts. And it also gives you Wed and Flat Fire, which is really good for elemental characters. The last piece is a Lionized Vision. Uh, you don't need to actually have this linked. Um, getting a 5 link, 6 link is optimal, you don't really need it. This is what you want linked, is your Lionized Vision. Lionized Vision gives you 100 life, so that's awesome, a unique chest piece with life. Also gives you level 15 pierce, which leaves our links with Lightning Strike quality, which gives 40% pierce. Pierce is a 50% pierce chance, so we're at 90% chance to pierce. Alongside with Fist to Lightning for 100% elemental conversion, increased critical strike chance, multi-strike, and wed. The last link would either be added fire or physical projectile attack damage. Typically, you want physical projectile attack damage, except this is a lionized vision, and it's a bit difficult to roll four off colors. The reason why you use increased critical strikes over something else that would increase your tooltip is since you're playing an Inquisitor, if you read Inevitable Judgment, critical strikes ignore enemy elemental resistance. If you don't crit, you don't do damage. Bottom line, you want to crit. With our character, we can actually uh, achieve crit cap. Um, currently, with just sitting in town, uh, just sitting in town, we are at, uh, let's see, simple numerics of 26,000 on lightning strike, which is not that much. And we also are at, where's the other one? Uh, where's the crit chance? I'm being silly here, my bad. Crit chance is currently 50% without any power charges. If I drop out my golem, we go to 27.5. With hatred on, we are 35k. With ash on, we are 38k. With herald of ice on, we are 40,000. The reason for herald of ice is to apply our curses. Of course, if you're playing with a support, you don't actually need to pick up any of this, and you could drop herald of ice, which then gives you four extra points. But 
Um, let's go ahead and run some maps. I'm going to do a T9 map, nothing too difficult, but just something that's, that's I guess, fair enough that is not shitty. I do have some footage of me running um, some higher tier maps with support. We were running T13, T14 reds, and we were doing just fine. Alright, so we got no regeneration, extra damage, undead. I'm cool with that. No regen is perfectly fine for me. Now, the way we're going to generate our charges is with a really, a, a really cool method, which is Assassin's Mark Curse on Hit Herald of Ice. What happens with this is since I have really high crit chance when, when you see all my buffs up, um, I'll shatter a target quite often with Herald of Ice and Hatred, giving me quite a bit of cold damage, which you can see. Um, as long as the target shatters, the Herald of Ice explosion will apply Assassin's Mark to everything around it. This is not good for single target cursing, but it's good for basically map clearing. And for single target, you can use Molten Strike, just use links that are similar to Lightning Strike. Um, but we're trying this out with Vol Lightning Strike, since we're 100% elemental and we don't use much projectile. So we've got Increased Crit, Wed, uh, Physical to Lightning, Vol Lightning Strike, and Multi Strike. Alright. See, once, once the power chargers start rolling, the build starts. Here's a reflect mob. You can see my health isn't, like, it does bounce, but it's still, like, it's not necessarily that bad. Like, it's... It's manageable. I don't have a warding flask, unfortunately, so uh, I do hit pretty hard with with uh, Enfeeble, which is going to be like all over this map, unfortunately, which is going to suck. There's a ball lightning strike, you can die. Map boss, he's dead from the knockback. It is wise to note as well that uh, as an Inquisitor, I can run Lightning Resist, Fire Resist, Cold Resist, Elemental Equilibrium, Physical Damage Reduction because I'm Elemental based, none of it matters to me at all. I bypass Elemental Resistance, which makes it really nice when you're grouping with a support because the only thing he has to do is put Defensive Auras on, well, defensive curses, and you can, and then you, yeah, you're pretty much good to go. So right now we're at 105,000 on uh, our lightning strike. That's with buffs on. I think I can get a little higher. But again, that the damage is is literally irrelevant uh, because we're scaling uh, through basically as if a monster has zero resistance. So it's not a really an accurate way to say it. God, Necros was a really bad map to roll. You guys know that? Like, there's fucking Necros everywhere. This character is also level 84. About to be 85, actually. Get some more HP. I like it, man. It's it's honestly, it's, it's pretty solid. The other cool thing is, since you're playing an armor-based character... Um, you do get a little bit of armor, and the reason why a little bit of armor is cool is it's percentage scaling. All guardians uh, pretty much will generate you flat armor, if, assuming they're reserving their life, and the flat armor will easily scale you up to 15,000 armor, no problem. That's pretty much the character again. It's it's nothing too crazy. You know, if I had a six link, it'd be a lot stronger. If I was running with support, which is what brings this character out is the defensive aspects of the support, which I'll be doing with, with my roommate. Uh, it'll be a lot stronger as well. You know, if I if I min-maxed my gear, quality my gems, we could get much stronger. But I like showing things that are realistic, and it's not hard to get a Hegemony's Era and a 5-Link Lionized Vision. That's really all this requires. And a Sybil's Lament. You know, nothing else is really too crazy. Um, 
let's see, I'll leave this alone. So, simply put, uh, you're leveling, leveling up wise, you want to use a weapon called, uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, I showed it in my previous video. It's not Realm Shaper, it's Stormheart. I used Stormheart all the way up to Hegemony's Era, was doing honestly pretty fine, didn't really have much issues. Uh, in terms of the skill tree, uh, since I leveled as crit, I didn't need the armor at the beginning, so I saved two points because I didn't want the health either. Came in through here, I grabbed Precision, grabbed Retribution because you need cast or you need attack speed at the beginning. Skip this, move across, grab Catalyst, come through, grab your crit, don't touch the power charge, come up, grab your crit, uh, come down, skip through your life wheel, come down, grab your attack speed, get Fury Bolts. Grab Finesse for more attack speed, come up, Ballistic Mastery. By this point, you're probably ready to, you know, start, uh, you're probably doing damage now at this point. So, I'd recommend grabbing Vitality Void and Vault Pact. Do not use a Hegemony's Era unless you have Vitality Void and Vault Pact. If not, you will die to reflect. You will die. Trust me. <laughs> um, move up, grab Coordination, and then you just fill in and you get life whenever you choose to. You guys know me. My, the way I play my builds is damage first, life second. Um, so that's pretty much going to summarize it up. Uh, as for bandits, I went with Oak, Creighton, Alira. Um, the reason why is I wanted the attack speed because staves and two anders don't get too high on the attack speed scale. Um, and the power charge allows me to get much higher crit rate. Since I didn't actually show you guys, let me actually demonstrate that properly because uh, I talked about it and didn't actually show it. So let me show you my crit rate with my charges up. Uh, one thing is to note that with Inquisitor, it's kind of a little bit like an assassin. 100% increased critical strike chance against enemies that are affected by no status ailments, and then you get 45 crit multi for mobs that are. Meaning, if it's your first time hitting a monster, or like the monster is basically full life, it's got no status effect on it. So you take your weapon, and that's pretty much the crit you get. So I would get 8.5 crit, unless I'm understanding that incorrectly. So two, let's see, three. Uh oh whoa all right there's six so with six on my lightning strikes at 84 percent or 85 plus 8.5 plus assassin's mark is crit cap you know that's that's crit cap now the other thing i want to show you guys uh which i think i don't know if i actually i didn't go over it is the knockback uh, that I get and how strong Vol Lightning Strike is. So I'm gonna see if I can remove something here, which would be really well, actually I can't really remove anything. It's a five link. So um, I'm gonna go shed, go ahead and show you guys an example of how strong Vol Lightning Strike is. There's an exile here, and uh, how strong the knockback is as well. The knockback comes from Blunt Trauma up at the top side, which basically states that anytime you crit, targets are knocked back. This includes any boss that can be knocked back. It is a very awesome defense mechanism when you put down Vol Haste and your totem and just smack away and everything gets pushed off your screen instantly. So anything you don't freeze gets knocked back, even though you can you can still freeze and knock a target back. But it's just kind of like another it's another defensive layer, which is really cool. It almost feels like and my stream was saying this is a good way to, to represent it. It's it almost feels like you're playing a bow character, but you're using a staff instead. Alright, so I am not going to use my Adziri's Promise uh, on Vol because I want to show you... I don't want to kill him that fast, I just want to show you what this does. Alright, check this out. See how he gets knocked back? That's... Now that's... That was only one... That was only one, like, ap application. I don't know what, what word I want to say. That was only one swing which hits three times, they crit, Vol gets knocked back. If I hit him three times with that, alright three times with Vol Lightning Strike, then pop my Onslaught Flask, put a Totem down, hit Vol Hasten at this, he would just, he would literally just go two screens away. And the boss cannot, it cannot get to you. Any type of mobility skill gets interrupted by a knockback. Um, and imagine if you had a support with you doing Temp Chains, the boss literally cannot move. It doesn't matter how much damage you're doing. If the boss can't hit you and you're safe, you're good. You know? Like the boss is literally stuck in bumfuck over there. So that's pretty much uh, the build, like I said. This is a character I'm pretty excited to play uh, in Ascendancy, and uh, we'll see. Day, day one is going to be pretty pretty difficult uh, trying to level up as a crit lightning strike character, so I might just go like generic two hands or something, uh, and we'll see exactly how that's going to turn out. 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, please feel free to uh, drop them in the video or in the comments below. Remember to check out the comments, and if you need any help or additional stuff, go check out the previous video, or type exclamation mark profile on my Twitch chat at twitch.tv slash fox, which will bring up my profile with all my characters on it, unless they've been deleted or something. Uh, anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Thanks again. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day, everybody.